it, now it doesn't have, now we don't we can save the arguments that we had in the 90s of who's better we don't gotta argue let's go mm. can you can you hang in with the <laughs> at the heavyweight oh you can't oh you can only hang with the lightweights shut your front door like, right exactly like, you know what i mean so it got all of that business out the way like we're gonna get right to it we the numbers don't lie it's it's there And the, the last thing I want to ask you, and it's kind of like, you know, retrospective or whatever, you got to, you know, think kind of how you, um, you know, want to be viewed. But when it's time to hang it all up and you out of here and, you know, what I'm saying you're just like, all right, I'm done with events. I'm done with, you know, my time is over. What do you want your legacy to be? Hard to answer because I can't even imagine that. Right. Right. You know, even even though like I, I, you know, since COVID, I've definitely slowed down in how active I've been in some some parts of the game. Um, so it's hard to imagine not being part because I, I I know one way or another I'm still going to be connected to to the, to the community. Um, and when I say that, I mean more like in the role you are now, where you're you're an everything guy. You're doing events. You're judging events. You'll dance at the event. You'll spray. Uh, you'll do a piece at the event. Um, I don't know. You know. Time and energy, one of them two things is always going to run out. Yeah. So I, when you slow down, you're like, well, I'm not going to throw the jam. I might come spray every once in a while. I might come right. do a piece every once You know, when you get to that and when, you know, what do you want the scene? Mostly, you know, mostly in our, our state because that's where people see the, the you know, the most out of you. I, you know, even though I know you're doing things all around the world. But in your home base, what do you want to be remembered as? I feel like, um, right, because you definitely like the, the thought of a, a legacy of some of some kind is is always a nice thought. Um, but I feel like like if I was going to leave any kind of legacies, it, it might not be obviously seen. I think it's going to live inside of a lot of people. <clears throat> and, and so to, and I'm OK with that. I'm OK with not getting, you know, a statue of me uh, at city hall you know I mean you don't want um, the air jordan the <laughs> <right>. <laughs> yeah i mean uh like yeah that stuff it's nice to those things are nice to get recognized for and they're nice to maybe inspire other people to be like cool i mean i can put in this work on some of these things and and it'll be recognized but it's more the legacies that live inside of each each person like i'm, I'm hoping that I, I that i've been able to influence people personally in their own kind of way maybe that i'll never know about maybe that nobody will ever know about um but i know it's there because i know it's happened and i know i have had people that tell me th things um that stand out to me that will stand out to me forever that fuel me forever um so knowing that like i made the you know i'll tell you two quick stories one from an anniversary when we had it at marley's i don't remember what year uh and it was mad early like it was mad early in the event um and this young man came in, it was mad early, and I was like, yo, you're here real early, but okay. And he was like, you know what, I was like, <clears throat> he's like, uh, I, I, was, I was thinking about committing suicide. Um, and then, I, yeah, like, this was like the day before, and he's like, but I heard that the anniversary was happening today, uh, you know, and and I came in, and I'm here, and then, like, throughout the event, he's like, yo, thank you for throwing this, because uh, I don't want to die anymore. I, I want to live. Wow. So it's, those are the legacies that I'm like, Nobody's gonna know about that unless I tell you that story. But to me, it's like, boom, that that's it. Like I'm I'm good. You know what I mean and right. those are the years that we probably lost eight G's or something. And I'm like, cool, worth it. Money right. well spent. Like I'm I'm good with that investment. Right. Um. Just this weekend at B Boy Summit, um, I'm walking. I was holding my nephew, and and his brother came up to me, and now we're in contact on IG. Uh, but he's like, hey, bro, he's like, can I holler at you? And my '90s mentality goes to like. Mm, you like me or <laughs> you hate like, me? Because, like because, because you know, I mean, because usually people would be like, "Yo, you house?" I'd be like, "Oh, shoot, you, you really got some beef, <laughs> or, or, or you, you love me? I don't know which one it is." <laughs> um, but I was like, "Yeah, what's up, man?" Like, um, and he just sent me an IG message too. But he's like, he's like, he's like, man, you don't know me, you don't remember me. He's like, but you were at a jam in Sacramento and you had a booth, and you know, I was telling you about. Uh, that he wanted to paint and then he had cans but he had no tip and and i low-key remember this which is crazy and i gave him one fat cap here you go bro here's your first, first fat cap and he came up to me at summit just to tell me he's like yo that changed my life bro 
He's like, that changed my entire life. He's like, that changed the entire tra trajectory of my life and, and how I move and how I operate. Like that's, he's like, oh, cause uh, Zulu Gremlin was on the mic and he gave me a shout out. And he's like, bro, I just heard your name. He's like, I got goosebumps everywhere. He's like, I gotta go talk to this man. Like, <clears throat> you know, those are the, I'm like, yo, thank you for the take. Cause you don't know what this, he does know what it does to me. Cause I know what it does to him. Um, but it, it's, One it's fat those cat. things. Yeah, one fact, that's it, you mean? And it's those tiny gestures of just giving somebody an option. Just saying, cool, I see you, here you go. What you gonna do with it, right? Same thing that, and those are the traditional things that I came up with. And I'm not saying we have to keep all these things, but, but you know, especially with like graph, somebody gives you a name, even with, with dancing, right? You got a name, what are you gonna do with this name? What are you gonna make out of this? Do some with this, like what you, you know what I mean? So it's those kind of stories uh on my website i have a page that's uh, i don't know it's like i think it's like trophies and awards but it's all just screenshots of people that have given me some kind of thing and it'll happen 10 this this cat this happened like 20 years ago or something bro you know what i mean he, he was a shorty you know what i mean i'm like yo the fact that you felt you to you needed to thank me like i know this is genuine because you didn't need to say nothing to me whatsoever you know what i mean um so it, it's those things that i'm like you know, again, you know, the relationships come and go, they go up and down, you know, to me, it's, if I'm going to be around this long, that that's what I love to see is to, you know, that like, oh, wow, it makes an actual difference in somebody's, in somebody's life. Um, you know what I mean? And, and generational wise, you know what I mean? When, when, when you get the kids that are like, yo, man, my dad talks about you all the time. And he said, yeah, I used to battle and, you know, now and they're at my workshop or something, you know what I mean? Or some, some of my homies bring their kids at their workshop. Like that's the like, man. I it's not about me. It's it's I I, I help nurture your relationship as a father and son. You know what I mean because you had something to talk about in the comment, and now you you met somebody that was a homie. Which you, you know I mean so it's those kind of things. If I if I can help build those experiences, those are the legacies for me. It's those experience that sometimes you hear about, sometimes you don't. When you hear about them, you're super grateful for it. Um, you know, but that you know that there's there's because there's and, and that's why I've I've always tried to go out of my way. Even if, you know, some people might take it different. They think you're, you're sucking up to them or you're, you're a fan or whatever. But I've, I've always gone out of my way to tell people like, hey, brother, respect to you because you inspired me. You have no idea. But I just want you to let you know. Boom. You know, and that's, it's that simple, you know, but our ego gets in the way of that kind of stuff. But anyway, going on with the question. Yeah, so I mean, to me, the legacies are, are people's personal stories uh, that they might have of, you know, because oftentimes people think or, or, remember things i say things out of saying them you know canon does that to me a lot well he'll recite a whole conversation i had with him i'm like what the i said that that sounds kind of cool bro we'll put that in a song baby boy uh you know things that i just i'm saying out of genuine thing but i'm like oh you don't always think people are listening or you don't always you're not that's not where you're saying it and and so but it's to know that like cool i, I gave you a seed and i know you're passing it on to other people you know, and that's that's one of the, the, the things is that, you know, it's going to get passed on. Uh, so for me, that that's more than enough. Um, you know, if, if again, if we if if anything that I do, any of the work that I do can, can further the next generation to uh, create and sustain a, a next level foundation for them in their own way. Cool. You know what I mean, and even if it was by super tough love, right, I, I get shout out for, for the jerk that I was in the 90s, too, sometimes. So don't get you know, I was at you know I was at Sour Patch anniversary a few years ago, and they're like, "Yeah, you know, you had jerks like House always telling us that we weren't real b boys." Yeah, thank <laughs> House, thanks for you know what I mean. You know, so it's that like cool, man. I'm cool because now you guys have a beat. You know, I, I was able out of that rivalry, I was able to you know, and that's why anybody that's been a rival in any kind of way, I have the utmost respect for them, the utmost love, <clears throat> and glad that we did, never got to anything, uh, you know, past past what it got. Um, you know, but you have to, the legacy, the legacy is, is that it has to live on with other people, that the energy, the energy in this, this confidence and this empowerment, um, this voice that it gives us, that's, that's a legacy. Um, so as, as long as more people keep being seen and heard that might not have got a chance before, uh, that that's gold for me. Wow. And before we let you go, House, if we, uh, you know, want to follow your movement, if we want to come support Worth the Way, Styles Anniversary, especially, you know, 
every day it seems like well i mean there's been a little bit of spiking but for the most part everything's opening back up so i'm assuming we're going to get back to the uh the in-person styles anniversaries and worth the wait has already been back in person if i want to uh you know if one of our viewers wants to support that how do we do that how do we find out about that on my on my uh on my social media you can find it on the b-boy house for the most part and that'll connect you to other things b-boy house is the main one whether it's bboyhouse.com or the twitters or the igs uh worth the wait 602.com uh, is is the website for that uh fear styles crew.com as well um you know we have the love fights back uh love fights back az uh that info which is uh, the, the graph mural movement that we're, we've been working on so but anything if you work look on their uh b-boy house you know sometimes it'll come up as house magana facebook made my my name officially house magana and People are like, hey, you're House Magana. I'm like, well, yeah, I guess, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Facebook said, I guess it's true. Uh, so, but yeah, you can you can be White House, uh, just about anything, and, and it'll come up, uh, you know, and always always open for for to build with people, and and you know, obviously any any support that we can get, uh, because it, it's straight up just it takes a village. I mean, it's, and, and I'm learning that, you know, I, I took my my I took a little niece and nephew. For six days uh, with my girl to to Cali and Disneyland, and uh, man, the almost respect the parents because wow, that was a uh, wow. And I got a lot of energy and I got a lot of patience and I got a, <clears throat> but you know, and, and I say that because I'm like, you know, I'm off the time. I'm like, man, I don't think everybody should have kids because it really does take a village. It would be better. We'd be better off. If, but you know, we can use that in our own village if we're talking about the hip hop village, like. It really does take a village. I mean, it's if you see some youngsters out there, or anybody, you know, everybody can do their part in, in helping out, and you know, everybody can be a a cool uncle, cool aunt, uh, you know, whatever whatever the case might be. So, uh, you know, keep supporting each other out there, and and you know, ho hopefully things. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm always open. I'm open for suggestions. I'm always open to to hear people's ideas. Um, you know, if they think something is whack. I hope they're doing something about it before they come to me because I'm like, all right, cool. I'll come to your jam. And, <laughs> oh, you ain't got a jam? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, B-Boy House, anything, you can, you can find me. Well, there it is. B-Boy House, Furious Styles Crew, starting the revolution. <laughs> That's right. That's no TR. doubt. And if, you, exactly. uh, if, if, you, if you're a Z-Trip fan, you can go back to his Shifting Gears album, and there's a Furious song on there and a STR song on there, because Z-Trip was for, part of the STR back in the day. Ooh, some, so some tidbits, yep, some hip-hop trivia. There you yep. go. But, uh, but yeah, man, again, thank you for your time, man. Um, we'll, we, we're definitely going to be working together uh, yep. in the future moving forward, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, very excited to be, you know, joining – the leaders of the scene and helping to build the, uh, and, and just stack more bricks on the Arizona scene, get That's it right. nice and healthy. Um, and like you said, like, like we've talked about before, make it one of those destinations. And like you said in this interview, make it one of those places where you go and you definitely, when you go back home, you're going to be like, Hey man, I went down to Phoenix and, uh, they got their ish together. You know what I'm saying? No so, doubt. No doubt. So definitely looking forward to that, man. And, uh, Same. we thank you so much. And I leave you with the, Peace. Peace, everybody. Thank you for having me, brother. For more quality content from Beyond the Cypher with Ill Skills, don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons. Let us know how we're doing down in the comment section. And to make sure that you don't miss anything from the channel, smash that notification bell. We appreciate the love and support. Peace until the next episode.